Pacheri is the founder of BeNow.org, a social enterprise and co-owner of BrandNow.Asia, a boutique agency providing services to local and international clients. Today, she has come to speak about her new project she's passionate about, and she wants to invite you and entrepreneurs you know to be a part of it. Hi, my name is Pashree and I'm the founder of BeNow. I'm recovering from working hard to working smart. I believe that this project is part of that evolution. Let me start by giving you a little bit of background on BeNow. The social enterprise group was founded in 2003 by a group of friends working professionally in the metropolis. Last year, we worked on the Expat Entrepreneur Awards project in partnership with Big Chile Magazine. It was an interesting challenge. On February 2014, in the middle of Operation Shutdown Fanfare, we announced the project, and you can guess the reaction we received under amidst so much uncertainty. Not one to give up easily, we collectively decided to push forward anyway. It was a privilege to have distinguished members of the community participate. Fred Mawad, Kent Wiley, Stanley Kang, Kun Kop Gan, who is now the Minister of Tourism and Sports. During the kickoff lunch, three of the judges asked why the award was only focused on expats. Fred went on to talk about creating an ecosystem to help all entrepreneurs, and I thought this was an idea worth spreading. The party wrapped up and we were all proud to have overcome the hurdles set before us at the start. We did a post-event survey to ask those who were involved to give us feedback. There were many lessons learned during the eight-month period. Colin and I had a debriefing and it was decided that BNOW would move forward to create a different award, one that welcomes ties as well as non-ties. The team and I sat down to talk about where would we start. We decided it was best to learn from others. One of the staff did a study on eight other awards, and some of these included Echelon, ASEAN Business Awards, and Enterprise Asia. He gave us an idea of what we wanted to include, and from there we started putting things down on paper in the form of mind mapping and came up with the name Entrepreneur Now. In the beginning, we focused on the why and what problem did we want to solve for entrepreneurs. This helped us to define our objective, values for the awards, draft categories, and a list of partners that we wanted to work with to bring the project to fruition. Our objectives are to promote entrepreneurism, attract investors to Thailand and ASEAN, revitalize the Thai economy and the SME sector. The brand values of the awards are to champion the entrepreneur spirit, bring entrepreneurs together and cultivate the culture, and create an ecosystem to sustain it. Some of you may be thinking there's plenty of entrepreneurism in Thailand. Just look at JJ Market and the vendors that line the street from Sukhumvit Soi 4 to the Asok Junction. Yes, there are a lot of grassroots businesses, but when we're talking about the ecosystem, we're referring to a system that are currently in place in more developed markets. For example, on the funding side, the U.S. has Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and Rocket Hub. In Thailand, these kinds of sports are harder to come by and less accessible. Our neighbors, Singapore and Malaysia, are ahead of the entrepreneur game with policies that encourage companies to incorporate and receive benefits and support from the government. So where are we today? Our working committees are made of our members from the American, Italian, and Irish Chamber. We also have UNESCO, iLearn, Bangkok Entrepreneurs, and Bangkok University. We have also invited several others to join us, such as the Malaysian, Singaporean, Indonesian, Thai Chamber, and the Federation of Thai Industries. If you're in the latter group I mentioned, we look forward to having you join us soon. The working committee had just recently had a meeting and we decided on the categories and the criteria. The next step is for us to put the weight on the criteria for the voting and we'll be inviting the judges who are well-known entrepreneurs to participate in this process. This is our project draft timeline. It's a year long and there are four major events. The first is a press conference, the second is a live pitching, the third is a ceremony, and the fourth is the Entrepreneur Summit. I want to give you a bit more info on each one of these. The press conference is slated for May or June. This is where the partners and I will be sharing the details about the awards and how people can apply. To make the event much more interesting, we plan to invite three to five well-known entrepreneurs to join and give a Pecha Kucha style presentation so that they can share their journey with the media. To participate in the awards, the applicants will do a video and upload it into our Facebook page. From here, the judges will shortlist the ones that they want to invite to the live pitching. 
We spoke with several universities to ask for their help to host a pitching event in September, and it has been decided it will be held at the Bangkok University. We want to invite university students to participate in the Entrepreneur Now and show them that there's a path for them to be entrepreneurs in the future. After the pitching, the judges will score each applicant. All the shortlisted entrepreneurs are invited to attend the awards ceremony. Tickets will be sold to others who are interested to join. We're canvassing for sponsors now. Again, if you could make recommendations, do please let us know. After all is said and done, we want to invite the winners and other prominent speakers to the Entrepreneur Summit, where they can share their stories in detail with students and the general public. You may be asking, what's the long-term vision of Entrepreneur Now? The goal is to be an award that brings together entrepreneurs in ASEAN, and different parts of the program could be taking place in various cities in ASEAN, such as Singapore, KL, or Jakarta. Back to the here and now with you. We're inviting you and others you know to be part of this movement, where we can create forward momentum for the entrepreneurs and SME, which make up 70 to 75% of the economy. The plan requires all kinds and not just entrepreneurs. We want supporters, cheerleaders, advisors, people interested to give back and be part of this vibrant group. We're calling on you, the leaders, geniuses, mavericks, thinkers, game changers, creatives, and awesome people. We want you to join us. Thank you for listening.